Good afternoon, friends. Steve Benoon here with Israeli News Live here on our Proton uh, channel and uh, our Patreon channel, not Proton, Patreon. And um, I wanted to play this clip for you, uh, Brent uh, Van de Vender, uh, the search for dark matter in nuclear weapons. And the reason I want to play this for you is because in the meetings that we were in the other day, we were talking about the situation that's going on in the world today and um, how that in order for them to bring about a new world order, they've got to bring down the United States. And of course, we go back to the, the scenarios that they're anticipating, which would be A, a nuclear war, or B, some sort of asteroid hitting the planet. Um, and of course, that asteroid would be accompanied with uh, not so much devastation of um, the hit, but just a small one that's carrying, carrying a payload with it of some type of, um, you know, deadly disease that would affect the entire planet. Now, in reality, that's just the cover story. As I've said to you guys before, it's the cover story. What the real story is, is that they've already discovered, uh, with the help of some uh, alien entities there, they've discovered one up buried beneath the permafrost that they're planning on using for the next go-round. And in the process of that, um, they're anticipating killing off 50% of the world's population as a result. Well, as we were discussing this, I asked the question, I said, well, the nuclear uh, detonation sounds more plausible than that of uh, an asteroid hitting the Earth like that. Uh, I said, but I figure there's still probably some on the radar, especially after all the ones that hit the sun not too long ago. And so I asked that question, you know, what are we looking at right now? And they said actually about 18 of them are uh, projected to hit the earth. But there again, as I told you guys once before, we have the technology to stop them, move them, etc. All types of things that can be done. And... Uh, I actually was asking about that as well because I figured that even though that we have 18 headed towards Earth, you know, what are the chances that they would hit in the first place? They said, well, we've actually been doing experiments here recently on these asteroids besides uh, the technology that we have to, to nudge them off course, things like that. We've even tried using a nuclear device to actually destroy one. We've detonated a nuclear bomb on an asteroid. He said, but the thing was so doggone big, they could not break it up, even with a nuclear bomb. Uh, he said, but now they're planning on using a dark matter weapon. I said, what is a dark matter weapon? Well, the way it was described to me is a dark matter when the weapon hits an item, say uh, in the case of an asteroid, it's like a giant rock. It totally rewrites the DNA molecular structure of that rock and turns it into completely something different. I said, well, that's great. I said, what will it turn into? And of course, the physicist that I was speaking to said to me, we don't know. And that's what really makes this so dangerous. He said, even though it is considered to be four times more powerful than any nuclear weapon that we've ever developed. We're still talking about about something that we have no really true way of knowing what it's gonna what's gonna happen. We just know that the total DNA molecular structure of the uh, the, the the whatever it is that it hits is going to be altered as a result. And I said, you you're sure we're not talking about uh, antimatter weapon? Uh, which is like a nuclear device, but uh, more powerful than a nuclear device, but not four times stronger. He said, no, we're talking about dark matter. So listen to this video here for just a moment here, just to kind of get an idea for of what dark matter really is. Basic science. I'm interested in, in how the universe is full of matter. We actually don't understand why that is. It's going to get interesting. It's not a very long video, but listen to what 
this man says about it here. I'm Brent Van Diemender. I'm an experimental nuclear physicist at p and I'm the program manager for nuclear physics research. We believe the, the problem of matter can be solved by a subatomic particle called the neutrino. Of all the particles in the subatomic zoo, a neutrino might be its own antiparticle. And that allows reactions that would cause the Big Bang to favor reactions that produce matter over antimatter, resulting in the universe we live in now. The way you test that in the modern universe is to look for a process called neutrinoless double beta decay. It's a very rare radioactive decay. Detecting rare radioactive decays or dark matter is extremely challenging. You have to have large detectors with very low backgrounds. As it turns out, 90% of the day-to-day -day work and 100% of the technology transfers over into our national security missions. Looking for rare radioactive decays or dark matter scatters is not very different than looking for rare radioactive xenon atoms in the atmosphere that would signify a recent illegal nuclear weapons test. Many of the measurements we make, both in fundamental science and in our applied missions, are very sensitive to naturally occurring radiation. The only way to get away from cosmic radiation is to go underground. We have a shallow underground laboratory where we can get to just 1% of the exposure one would have in the surface. We can then have down there very sensitive experiments. We grow our own copper such that it excludes radioactive metals that come with naturally occurring copper. And we can then build very low background detectors out of that. The detectors we develop for those neutrino and dark matter experiments translate directly over into our nuclear non-proliferation mission. Everybody knows that we're watching for nuclear weapons tests and that they won't get away with it. That's a deterrent to the development of new nuclear weapons. And in that way, our work in basic science... Well, while they're deterring for these new nuclear weapons, these guys are also experimenting on ways to use dark matter as a weapon in itself. Now, this guy may not realize that, but it has already been used and turned into a weapon that is four times more dangerous than any nuclear weapon. So think about it. Just think about it. Um, I mean, this stuff is crazy. Anyway, next video we're going to be talking here on, hopefully if I can remember to do this, is going to be um, what happened on 9-11. I actually asked that question to the insiders. And I know someone that was actually on the Twin Towers investigation. And what they had discovered from the investigation, explosives being used. Explosives that only a few countries in the world had the access to. And by the way, it's not Saudi Arabia, it's not Iraq, and it wasn't Iran. Imagine that. We'll talk to you very soon about what went on that fateful day. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Have a blessed evening.